Keep your heads lifted up, soldiers, for Jesus Christ, and keep expecting him. The day of the Lord, Yeshua, is nigh. And real quick, here's the verse of the day. And it's Matthew 5.11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And this year I've been persecuted like never before in my whole entire life. And praise Jesus Christ, all glory to our Father. He gave me the heads up so I knew it was coming. But by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKodesh, I'm going to keep pushing. And what just happened on the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, is biblical proof that the day of the Lord is nigh. And we need to push this video and like it and share it with as many people as we can. And it's right here, family, on Israel365news.com. For the first time since the second temple, the shofar sounded on the Temple Mount. Silver trumpet sounded as call to war. On Thursday, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, a group of Jews smuggled a shofar onto the Temple Mount. And despite police efforts to stop them, blew all of the requisite shofar blasts for the holiday. And I'll pin this link in the comments so you could go and study it for yourself. Yes, this already happened. And yes, it's proof that the day of the Lord is near. Because the shofar just sounded on the Temple Mount, the Holy Mountain. Joel 2 verse 1 was just fulfilled, family. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. It just happened. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And now that this has happened, nothing can stop Jesus Christ from coming to get us. And if you haven't studied Joel chapter 2, study it deeply, meditate on it, pray about it, ask for understanding. All glory to our Father, I've been studying this chapter for decades. And it's the rapture. It's what Peter talks about in Acts chapter 2. And when you go to verse 15, it says, Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. And again, this is Acts chapter 2, family. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Well, that's what's happening right now. And that's what just happened. They blew the trumpet in the holy mountain for the first time since the temple was destroyed. And this full moon, October 17th, Feast of Tabernacles, you can see right there on time and date, it's also called a blood moon. And that lines up with Joel 2.31. And after the shofar blasts on the holy mountain, on the temple mount, and I just showed you, after the shofar is blown on the temple mount, the holy mountain, the word says to sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. After the feast of trumpets, after they blow the trumpet on the holy mountain, is Yom Kippur, the day of atonement. And as you can see right there, it says that the Day of Atonement is the holiest day of the year in Judaism, traditionally observed with a 25-hour period of fasting. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast. This is leading up to our departure. And when you go to the TorahCalendar.com, it's also the fast of Zedekiah. It leads us right to the Feast of Tabernacles in the full moon. The full moon that they also call a blood moon. And it's lined up perfectly with the word. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And most of the rapture dreams happen on full moons. And most of you know that Proverbs chapter 7 says, For the man is not at home. He's gone on a long journey. 
he hath taken a bag of money with them, he will come home at the full moon. And on top of that, the book of Enoch chapter 60 says in the first verse in the 50th year, in the seventh month, on the 14th day of the month of the life of Enoch. In that parable, I saw how the heavens of heavens was shaken violently and the host of the most high and the angels, a thousand thousands and 10,000 times 10,000 were extremely disturbed. On the seventh month in the 14th day, the heavens shook violently in Enoch's vision. Well, as you can see right here on the Hebcal converter, the seventh month Tishri on the 14th day is October 16th, the eve of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Weddings, and the following day is 1017, the anniversary, the two-year anniversary since Christina escaped. On the Feast of Weddings, on the full blood moon, Right after approximately 50 Jews ascended to the mount at 7 a.m., the holy mountain. And as you read the article, the police tried to stop it, but God was not going to allow that. And they blew the shofar a hundred blasts. Let it sink in. Prophecy was just fulfilled. They blew the trumpet in Zion on the holy mountain. And the fast is on the Day of Atonement. They have plenty of time to call a solemn assembly and gather the people and sanctify the congregation and assemble the elders and gather the children and prepare for the bridegroom to come forth out of his chamber. And this next full moon, the biggest super moon of the year, I just showed you, they also call it a blood moon. And remember, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, he said, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And as you can see right here, there's a prophetic gathering on the National Mall on Yom Kippur. Jonathan Kahn announces special prophetic gathering on the National Mall on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement in Washington, D.C., October 12th, 2024. They will be preaching the gospel to all nations on the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the year, observed with a 25-hour period of fasting and intensive prayer. It goes perfectly with Joel chapter 2, verse 15 and 16, and runs right to the full moon on the day of the feast, the feast of weddings, tabernacles, this is set up perfectly, family. Regardless what anyone thinks, prophecy was just fulfilled. They blew the shofar for the first time since the second temple. And you can see right here they have Joel 2, 1 posted. Blow a shofar in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mount. Let all the dwellers on earth tremble for the day of Hashem has come. It is close. So regardless... He is near. He's about to come. And I'll give you more confirmation that he's pointing our attention straight to the moon in his signs. In the sun, the moon, and the stars. First sunspot, 3842, ripped off two X flares, a seven and a nine. And then that same sunspot, 3842 just ripped off another X flare, earth facing, it was a two. Well, here's what's so gigantinormous about sunspot 3842. In Strong's Bible Concordance 3842, the definition is moon. And on the eve of Sukkot, the moon is entering what they call Pisces, the fish. And on the 17th, the full moon will be entering what they call Aries, the god of war, the false god. But here's what's super gigantinormous. And I showed you the star of Jacob, which they call the Bethlehem star, this comet, Shuchashan Atlas, is on the snake, the serpent, on the full moon. Well, all glory to our father. Here's what Daniel Taylor just showed me yesterday. That the asteroid Milton will be on the other side of the snake. 
in the hurricane that's about to hit Tampa, Florida, is called Milton. And this full moon is completely stacked. And as you can see, the asteroid Yeshua is right there too. And remember, on the last full moon, the harvest moon, September 17th, I showed you Celeste Child, and Celeste means heavenly, was right there on the wing of the eagle and right underneath was Child. In all glory to our Father, on the solar eclipse on 10-2, they were right there too, and you could see Yeshua was right underneath. And Israel was there, and America was there, and they're still there. And right next to Milton, right now, today, is the asteroid storm. And the hurricane Milton started out as a storm. And it's going to devastate Florida. Pray for them. And on the full moon, on the Feast of Weddings, the Feast of Tabernacles, you can see that storm is on one side. Suchashan Atlas, the comet, is on the other side. And Child is right there under the eagle they call Aquila right above the star of Jacob. And Celeste Child is directly on the wing of the Eagle family on this full moon. And Celeste means heavenly. It looks like the transformation from child that's transformed to Celeste Child, heavenly child, which is right above child. And all of this is happening right after Joel chapter 2 has been fulfilled. So I am very hopeful Yeshua is right next to the star of Jacob. So keep looking for our blessed hope and expecting him. Right now, since the day of the Lord is near biblically, and it's proven because they just blowed the shofar on the temple mount, the holy mountain, and fulfilled prophecy, Joel chapter 2, verse 1, verse 15, verse 16 is happening. So wait on the Lord. As you can see, I just showed you heavenly child is on the wing of the eagle. And I know a lot of you are weary, but wait on the Lord. He shall renew your strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And Yeshua said, blessed are those servants who give meat in due season when he comes. So I want to thank you all and give God all the glory for you, family. Thank you for donating, because until Jesus Christ comes to get us, there's a lot of people that need help. And I'm going to help as many people as possible. So if you can help, and Yeshua is leading you to donate, all my information is under this video in the description box. Thank you, family. I love you, and I'll see you very soon, because the day of the Lord has been proven that it is near.